Hi Water Sign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily love soulmate relationship. This is for November 27, Monday, for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys. While I'm shuffling, um, there is a new page. Of course, too much disturbance. We haven't even started. Sorry. So in that other page that we have, it's more uncut. Same thing as like this. No, so the other page that we have is a subscription. It's da dailies there are a are dollar every day. And just subscribe there. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Extended reading. We'll see how it pans out further. At the same time, how do you feel towards you? Let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is the one. So hold on. I don't like it asking me to flip again. Because I thought someone something flipped. Okay. Here we go. You have your wow, the world card. That's very positive right there. New cycle. You know, we have the Scorpio energy right now. Um, and then this is a gift for you. So what I'm saying, this can be a person who you met online, someone from a distance, requires travel, or you have been traveling around the world, which is congratulations, I'm happy for you. <laughs> if not, you're dealing also with a, with a fixed sign over here, all right? We have the Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, and Leo, okay? So meaning fix. If it's fixed, this is something um, that is very difficult to work with if you are not a fixed sign because it's either their way or the highway also, if, you're, if, if that's the energy that you're dealing with. You're dealing with something fixed in the sense also that the new change, that the new life that you're having or the new connection that you're having with this person is fixed. It was meant. Oh, okay. So this is the one that flipped. Earth sign over here. King of Pentacles. So someone here you're connecting with can be, you know, very stable. That's one thing. King of Pentacles, who understands the value of time. Okay, that's that's, for me, that's stability. When you understand the value of time, because again, for me, I don't know how many times I can explain this. Pentacles is time for me. So this is being responsible. Okay, you can be this person also water sign responsible with the finances, responsible with your time, meaning you don't waste no time for nobody. Okay, <laughs> that's responsible to your time. Um, and here, it's showing that you are invested with someone who is a possibility um, for the yes. The world card is a yes if you have a question before we started the reading also. Let me see here. You're very much invested with this person and they're looking at you. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, we're good. Okay. Investment. <laughs> Emperor over here. Someone who controls businesses. You know, very powerful in the sense that they control kings. To be connecting with an Aries over here. This is the world in their hand also. Okay? So water sign, you're connecting with someone who has big influence in your life. Whatever that may be, it doesn't mean that they influence you in money or, you know, it can be for some people because the pentacles is here. They influence you to have a new life. They probably have given you an opportunity to start all over again. When I sit all over again, this, this, then this can be a person that you had connection with and then they're just coming back again and then it's being worked on right now. If not, this person that you're connecting with as an emperor and a king of pentacles over here, if this is not you, water sign, this is about having a, uh, more of the control of the situation right now. You are in control of where it's sitting to. You have your nine of cups, water sign. So this has been manifested emotionally, meaning... Um, this is when, you know, when you say it's like, oh, I wish. Yeah, be careful for that. Because the energy of the universe is everywhere. So when they when we say like, you know, words has power, it really does. Because you just have to put your vibration with the words, and then you bring it out there, and then it comes towards you. So be careful when you say, I wish for something. Because chances are, it's going to happen. But of course, let's be realistic. It's not about... Um, oh, I wish for a million dollars. No, because the vibration has to match. Okay, I'm going to explain it to you right now. The vibration has to match. So that's how you can manifest. So here, it's showing that you, at some point, ask for someone who's stable. Ask someone who will invest time with you. Ask for someone even to meet online. And this is when normally either you're very happy that you will wish or you're very sad that you will wish. Both will listen to the energy because we have duality. There's the good and the bad. Either the dark force is listening or the light force is listening. So you have to pick. You wish when you're upset, you get you get it also. You wish when you're happy, then you get it also. 
And here, it's showing that this is a reward. I don't know why I went to metaphysical, but I'm sensing someone here was whispering to the universe and then they got what they want. A person who is very much um, established. And if you are the emperor over here and you are very stable and your vibration is high, you ask and you shall receive the world card. A new beginning in life, a new person in your life. Um, when I say new person, it's not like you're going to meet them. You have met this person already because there is some sort of completion. You have completed a cycle in your karma. Hence, this is a reward again for the water sign. You could be connecting with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, an Aries over here, and also the, what I mentioned with the fixed signs. Okay, So I'm going to continue how this pans out, but it's very, very positive though because this is what you have wished for has been granted. Thank you very much, and do subscribe to the other page. I'll see you guys again. Link is down there.